production of Boeing's 777X is underway. Boeing says the twin-engine passenger jet will be the largest in the world. Its wingspan is so big, the tips have to be folded up so it can fit into airports, and Boeing in St. Louis is playing a big role in the production of the wings. 400,000 square feet is what we've got roughly in this building that is pretty much dedicated to 777X. The parts that we have here in St. Louis basically encompass the entire outside of the wing. We have all of the movable pieces all the way around it. All of those different pieces that basically encircle, encompass the entire wing, that's in our entire statement of work package here in St. Louis. Composite is nothing more than two materials put together. The majority of the parts that we produce here in St. Louis are all out of carbon fiber. We do have a certain suite of parts that are fiberglass. Actually, this part right here, this part's fiberglass. What you're looking at when you're looking at all these parts is not the fiberglass or the carbon material. It's the Tedlar material, and it's basically, in layman's terms, it's a plastic wrap. It's a plastic film that goes over the outside of the part to environmentally seal it from the elements. This is a large part cell area. Basically anything that's roughly four foot by six foot all the way up to we have parts that are on the order of about 45 foot long. We have the superstructure above where all the laser projectors are, these black boxes that you see. We have what we call laser projection targets. The laser will be able to see exactly where those targets are, the tool. It will project down all of the different footprints of all of the different plies and all the different pieces of core that we need to place in the area. There's the footprint. You put the ply right in the footprint. And all these people are artisans. It takes a skilled hand to ensure that that ply conforms to all of those different geometries and does not wrinkle or bridge over top of any of those different features. This is the largest part that we physically make on 777X right now. Roughly about 45 foot by 12 foot. This is that tail fin that basically is on its side. As you look at the aircraft, the rudder that stands vertically, and this is actually just the control surface on the back of the rudder. So this is one, one skin, you'll have a skin on the other side, and you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ribs, a spar, that's about it. That's the beauty of composites, is that you can make large unitized structure. This is the AMC, the Automated Machining Center, or the trim and drill, advanced trim and drill machines. They're basically large flow machines that have the capability of trimming and routing and drilling the holes in all of our parts. So the part that they're trimming right now is the elevator piece. These are the second largest pieces that we make. That's basically this piece right here. It's not this entire structure, it's just this back piece that moves up and down. It was actually my idea. Didn't go into this program thinking it was going to be the largest 3D printed object in the world. Uh, we went into it as a challenge to make a tool for the 777X program. It's the technology that I was developing. We were trying to transition the technology into production. The exact same tool would be used in this exact same configuration where it's set on the machine bed and then we take the part, we suck it down to that tool and trim it. That's what makes this so special and unique is, and we're just looking at a small portion of the folding wing tip. For commercial aircraft, it's all about making an aircraft that's efficient, you know, and does not burn a whole lot of fuel. How you typically do that is you give it a very long wingspan. You can't do that and get all of these aircraft in airports. So how you do that is you make a wing that's really long and then you fold it up. So we make the 500 little pieces, those get all you know, assembled together, and then they deliver essentially 15 to 20 large pieces. Those 15 to 20 pieces go and then get nailed all the way around the wing. Now, we've got all this space, a brand new trim and drill center, we've got you know, lots and lots of employees that are coming in in waves over the next two, three, four years with work that's out on the horizon 10, 20, 30 years. So yes, this is good news for everybody. This is good news for me. It'll be good news for my kids that can hopefully work here. So yes, it's all, all good news for St. Louis as a whole.